Hey everybody, it's Cam, and three new cards have been leaked to us on the Back for Blood Twitter, and oh my god, do they look spicy. So I just wanted to make a quick video talking about them. So right out the gate, let's talk about Out With A Bang. This card gives you one extra life, which isn't too exciting until you look at the team effect. When a teammate is incapacitated or dies, they drop an active pipe bomb. What? This goes pretty well with having another extra life. It's pretty fitting that this card has hang on it as well. I think this will be a good card for hang mains. And my first question when I saw this card is who gets credit for the kill from that pipe bomb? Because if the person who plays the card gets credit for the kill, holy crap, this is going in my pinata deck for sure. That way when Ever anyone on the team goes down first off we get a pipe bomb which will probably be pretty useful if we're going down in the first place and now we have a chance of spawning in a med kit or defib to get that person their life back overall this card looks nice and now I just really want to do some testing with it but moving on let's talk about the other two cards that are going to work pretty similar to how stealthy passage works right now where when you take these cards you are going to disable one of your slots with expired t5 when you activate your support slot, you will create a 10 meter area that will do 8 fire damage per second onto weak spots. To activate this card, it will cost you 40 rifle ammo, and of course, it's going to disable your support slot. This card seems super interesting. We haven't really seen something like this before. Pyro is already strong, and I think this card is going to make it a little bit stronger. For the most part, as a Pyro, you're usually not even using your support slot other than holding onto things for your dock. So it will be something that you'll have to think about if you want to take this card because it seems really cool. Also in the card it mentions it does weak spot damage so taking some weak spot cards with this one might turn this into something crazy. With this card it seems like they're actually making ammo builds a little more viable because I feel like for the most part taking ammo cards was only useful for whoever was running an assault rifle but now it might be more handy for everyone else to take it. This could be the reason that On Your Mark got a hidden nerf. It could be possible that they don't want to give you as much ammo. Since now apparently ammo is going to be kind of like a currency. I wonder if ammo will be used for other things as well in the game. Maybe you can find like a cool little vending machine, pop some sniper ammo in there, get a med kit. I, I don't know. But anyways, this card's pretty cool and let's talk about AI Assistant Module. With this card... When you activate your quick slot, you will get a 5% reuse chance for your accessories. And if you do not get a reuse, it will increase by 10% until you do get a reuse. The effect is removed when you're damaged and it costs 15 sniper ammo to activate. So it will be pretty nice to have in a dock build. When you're in the safe room healing up everyone with your med kits, if you activate this ability, you have no chance of taking damage, and you will get a guaranteed reuse eventually. The big downside of putting this into your dock build is now you can't use your defibs anymore, so I'm not really sure if I would take this card, but there's probably some kind of build that I'm just not seeing, and I'm sure you guys will point it out to me. Also looking at an offensive build, you could activate this and then throw a bunch of grenades at an ogre or a breaker. So you're going to have to decide between going full offensive, getting a higher chance of reuse, when throwing your grenades, molotovs, and pipe bombs, or instead going with Magician's Apprentice. That way you can still get the reuse chances when putting down barbed wire and using your toolkits. Me personally, with how strong toolkits are, I currently am still leaning towards Magician's Apprentice with my pinata build. My biggest question with this card is how does it work with Stealthy Passage? They both disable quick item slots, but they both will need you to press the quick item button in order to use them. Overall, this does seem pretty cool, and I think the fact that they're adding cards that are going to disable slots is also nice because these cards do seem strong, and I think it will kind of balance the game, and it will make builds more specified into their roles so that you will need to communicate with your team for who's going to be using the toolkits, barbed wire, and all that stuff, because accessories are really strong right now. So I think them balancing out by taking slots out is a good change. I'm excited to see what cards they come out with next. They don't have any card that disables offensive slots yet, but I'm sure we're going to see it because they have done it before. They did rework that card because it wasn't a good card, but if they do disable offensive slots, it would have to be a pretty crazy card. So we'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think of these cards? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to be notified of our next video that we post or the next time that we go live. We do stream Monday to Friday and sometimes on weekends on this YouTube channel. So I hope to see you there sometime and have a good one, everybody.